Alright, so this is a personal reading for myself. Um, but because I am a part of the 144,000 Divine Union Collective, I am considering um, sharing this. So we'll see how it goes. I'm coming in tapping for myself. And so, yeah, I feel as though I'm representing the divine feminine. And I was sitting here thinking before I said that and um, what I feel like my spirit was saying to me is that the divine feminine is a woman who understands that she has both feminine energy within and masculine energy and a divine feminine is a woman who knows how to flow in between or at least use both sides of herself the masculine side as well as the feminine side she understands that she's masculine so <clears throat> You know, she has that energy in her. And she also understands she got the divine feminine. So, yeah, that's why. Because I was, like, debating with my spirit team. And I was like, but y'all told me that I'm, you know, a definite daughter of the sun, which is the masculine energy. And y'all reminded me that I do have masculine energy in me. They're like, yeah, but that doesn't make you any less feminine. You're the divine feminine. Okay. Cool. Alright, spirit, so please give us the heart of the matter, the details. I'm hearing the nitty gritty about the heart of the matter. For, of course, my personal energies and issues as well as maybe what's going on with the collective as well. got three cards that came out immediately all right I'm also feeling like I'm gonna leave it alone I'm gonna leave it right here all right so <clears throat> oh what's the bottom of the deck for this I'm eating my breakfast as well, or rather drinking my breakfast. <laughs> so. The bottom of the deck energy is the Jack of Spades. The Jack of Spades. I forgot to get my booklet, so I'll be right back. Let me go get that. All right, you guys, so I am back. I got the booklet, and then Spirit also told me to get some affirmation cards for when we get towards the end of the reading, okay? So I'm just using two main decks for right now. When I start to clarify, that will give me my third deck, which will eventually add. So let's just hop into it. So I asked Spirit. I hope you guys can hear me. I asked Spirit basically for the energies that are that may be surrounding me and my divine union at the time, at this time. Oh, did I just see something? Hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. So, sorry about that. So I asked Spirit for the energies that were surrounding me at this time, and that's what I got from the Soul's Journey Tarot deck. The overall energy of that, though, is empathy. Here's the card for that. Empathy. I never know where to look. Empathy. And it reads, I am open 
to seeing both sides of a situation. So right underneath that card is the service card. Let me read that because I feel the need to. I feel good when I can help others. This is what the service card looks like. This gives me Empress Energy. All right. So what I feel is that overall, aside from the messages that will be coming out in this reading from that deck, I feel like overall what Spirit is wanting me to do and maybe even other Divine Feminines at this point Okay, look over here, Jude. Spirit is wanting us to be empathetic towards our masculines and to really maybe even use our own experiences um, of times that we were in scenarios or situations similar to where our masculines could be at this time and use that to honestly put ourselves in the scenarios that they may be in. Okay, and as thoroughly and as deeply as we can, not from this space of judgment or impatience. All right, so the overall energy. No, hold on. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I apologize for that. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was about to talk briefly about the overall energy or the bottom of the deck for the second deck of cards I'm using, which are where we're going to get the foundational tarot meanings from. That is the jack, the jack of spades, which is the equivalent to like the page of swords so according to the booklet for this it is <clears throat> this is an energy of being cautious but also you know potential potential energy with the page of swords coming from the traditional tarot i would say that some of us could have recently received a message of some sort um, but technology based we could have received a message okay um and the message could uh, have us in an energy of being cautious or it could have us in an energy of possibilities i think possibilities Okay, so I'm just going to stop there. That's the sign of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, yeah, here we go. Tapping into the actual energy. The three cards that came out, one after the other, from the Soul's Journey Tarot deck, which is still answering the energy, about the energy that's surrounding us at this time, specifically me. But, you know, if you resonate with these messages, it is also for you. Fear. It says, I realize... Hold on. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So I feel like this definitely resonates with me personally. Um, I know that our masculines can obviously come up in our readings, but I do feel like this is for me. And it's because of the next card that comes out and I'll explain. So first I'll say, I think that my fears that are you know, up and down, in and out. They could be keeping me from expressing and showing my love in a certain kind of way. They're keeping me guarded in a way and stuff like that. Um, I also feel like we're in this energy of having to release fear because it's Due to fear that we're maybe wanting to rush things, number one, speed things up within the union. And I feel like it can also be that we are trying. So 
with us wanting to speed things up or with us wanting to hear from our person or know certain things about our person, know when and where and why and how, all of that honestly can stem from fear. And so it kind of makes us become controlling in a way, even if we don't intend to, even if we don't actually want to be that way. So moving on, the second card that came out here is the card of surrender. So this was the thing that definitely made me feel like this was also about me. Although, because we are a part of a connection where we mirror one another, um, for me, mirroring doesn't mean that we have the exact same things going on, even though we can, but it's like in different aspects of our lives or we view them in totally different ways, but we can also be exhibiting the same types of energies like fear and da da da. So with that being said, surrender, it says I can release my need to control. I really do feel like that's something that happened for me literally just this AM, just this rising. I really did get this energy in my spirit at 11, 11. I just looked at the time here. I really did. Um, after conversing with my love, which just is what it is. I love them. Always have. Moving on. So after conversing with him, all I could feel was an immense sense of love. I also, my empathy was heightened because, and actually I can't say that it was heightened while I was on the phone. It was actually after I got off the phone with him that I was washing up the rest of my dishes from when I made my smoothie and stuff because I like to clean up. When I have the energy, I'm cleaning up as I go or right away after I finish everything so that I don't have to. So I have the energy, so I'm cleaning up everything. And I just was led to go into prayer, um, a personal prayer for our union. And one of the things that I needed to admit to myself and therefore spirit was that first, I do really love this. I really love him. But then also that it's my fears of maybe us, you know, not coming together or whatever that puts me in this energy of trying to control things, whether it's passive or even if I'm very direct or blunt or aggressive. And aggression just meaning that I'm just going to throw it right out there. It's going to be right in your face <clears throat> type energy. Either way, it's my fears of just really a lot of stuff, maybe even the unknown that causes me to operate in that. So I admitted that I was, you know, that I experienced that and I, I got and understood that that's where that stems from and that I don't need to do things like that. So I personally feel like my spirit team was chastising me in love, by the way, but reminding me that when I say certain things, trying to just throw it out there that, oh, you know, I'm just going to have to move on or I won't always be here type energy. Those things I am saying more so out of fear, but also in a, in a way to influence decision and that's manipulative and controlling. So after I had got off the phone, I actually felt bad for saying that my spirit made me feel bad for doing that because they reminded me of where that was coming from and that that wasn't, I didn't mean it, not really. So it's kind of like, hmm. so in that prayer, I surrendered that energy and I spoke to God within my, God within me the universe and I eventually cry because you know spirit be having you open and especially when you have to be honest and truthful with yourself I was very open and it was like I really don't mean that and I really love him so much that it's just kind of like I hate to say it like this because I don't want to make it I don't ever want anyone to think that it's okay to be disrespected by someone um and when I say disrespected where this person um just blatantly does you harm as far as, you know, it could be they deal with so many different women or whatever. 
with no respect to you and how you feel, that's not acceptable. And that's not okay. And that's not what happens between me and my person. Um, there is a level of detachment, to be quite honest. But there is also a connectedness that is there that cannot be messed with or tampered with. Um, and I feel like you have to know this. And I'm not saying this like, because I don't always just be sure. I really don't. But I know that there is something here for us. And But I don't tolerate the disrespect and I don't want it. And so I always... That's just a given. Like, your person knows you. And to be honest, like, if you are, in fact, one of the 144,000, your masculine actually holds you in high res- high regard anyway, in high esteem anyway. And so there are certain things that they just don't even want you to have the knowledge of. They don't even, like, and when they talk to you, it's just about y'all, even if you know about other people. Um, there's a level of camaraderie and friendship, but... They still kind of understand and know, probably because they know themselves, that there are certain things that they just don't, they don't want you to experience or they don't want you to feel it because they know how it feels to a degree. And so that's that empathy energy as well. And vice versa, you know, I, as a person did the same thing that I'm feeling like my masculine is getting ready to do in his life. I did that. Um, I did that. And so I have to just, I acknowledge that and I spoke to spirit and I was like, spirit, okay, if this is for my masculine's highest good and everything, like I want him to experience this. I want him to go through the process because when I went through the process, while it was gritty, while it was hurtful, it was very, very painful and everything, I became that, like that was pivotal for me. Spirit wanted us to, Spirit wanted me to get closer to manifestation. They wanted me to have more self confidence. They wanted me to know who the fuck I was. They wanted me to have power, stand in my power. My spiritual gifts were heightened with this very last connection that I just came out of. And so, with that being said, 1010 on the cell phone. With that being said, I became a better version of myself. Like, I'm, I'm moving in ways that I had only just knew was spiritually inside of me, but I had never really moved on those things and so if in fact the choice that my masculine who I honest to God feel like will be my husband is my husband um because that was confirmed for me today with us even communicating and talking um that he's gonna have to experience that but the reason that he's experiencing it is so that he can become just like what I had to become more in tune with the spiritual gifts, trusting of spirit, um, realizing what's really important for him, for his soul. And also, he has lessons to teach the other people, whether they are aware of that or not, whether he's even aware of it or not. We are all ministers and we're teachers in a way. So a lot of us learn through the vehicle or the classroom of relationships. Um, So with that being said, I had to be like, okay, I do know that spirit. I'm aware of that. You have made me aware of that. So if this is in fact, what he must go through in order to get him to the capacity of matching, of matching my energy, of really just being who he's called to be, which will be my energetic match, then I want him to do that. So I had to release my need to control all of it. Point blank in the period. Last but not least, the Envy card came out. I hope that made sense, you guys. The Envy card came out. And I'm seeing two cards that have, like, the colors of red and gold. So those two colors are making me think about the root chakra and um, the solar plexus chakra. So it says, I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. So I feel like there is an element maybe of envy that's surrounding me or maybe that somebody could be envious towards me and I don't really know that. I'm going to clarify this card for sure with the, um, with the tarot deck, but um, I feel like there could be a level of envy and I don't even know 
Um, yeah, I'm going to just stop right there because I'm really not sure. But the truth of the matter is, is I'm not different from anybody. And the things that are that may be made manifest within me or whatever, it's all just because of the work that's being put in by myself and also to be quite honest spirit's decision about what i have what i don't have what i experience what i don't experience you know so yeah it i don't feel like i'm a person to envy or maybe who who knows maybe there's envy that i have that i don't know about So moving on to the tarot, all three of these cards came out and fell out at the same time. I got the five of spades or the five of swords, which is that energy about control, possibly manipulation. If not, it's about strategy. It's about strategy and getting clear about making plans of some sort. Okay. So that came out with the two of hearts and the king of spades so this represents like um the five of swords which i said is like strategy it could also be um in this deck it's it could also be a very difficult opponent so i feel like this could also be maybe some type of conflict of the mind it could also be some form of competition as well or like a game. Somebody could be playing a game here. It's just possible. We have the two of hearts, which deals with uh, like the two of cups, but it's also the temperance card in this particular deck. And I think it's beautiful that they came up and out because basically what I feel like is happening is that where I may have been trying to be manipulative or where I may have tried to control a situation, um, spirit is asking for patience. And if that's any of you guys out there, when you reflect on how you may communicate with your masculine or whatever, you know, you may find that you say certain things, just throwing it out there just so that he could be aware, like, hey, you know, or whatever, I'm not going to be here forever or whatever, <laughs> whatever that is for you. Okay. Um, but I feel like spirit is truly, truly wanting us to stand in our power of love commitment to the connection and almost and also um patience that's what temperance is about but temperance is also a card of union you know it's a card stating that union is here so we'll we'll tap into it last but not least the king of spades that's like the king of swords that's a person who will be able to clearly communicate clearly articulate their plans um this is the person who is who will have made up their mind about something and then will be moving towards whatever they choose like whatever they make up their mind to do they're going to stick with that that's going to be focused determination a plan okay um and that's order that's also the emperor card so this is aries energy which mars is retrograde in aries what i feel is happening here is that maybe after <clears throat> maybe even after some deliberation after getting together a plan there's a strategy here like when i'm seeing these cards Somebody's got a plan. Someone's got a strategy. So maybe a plan or a strategy may come in towards union, um, maybe about who a person should choose. And then they're going to make that decision, which if that be the case, then that means that this reading is literally an answer to the prayer that I pray this rising. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle and we're going to go ahead and begin to clarify so I did record a prayer, this rising for the collective, for the divine union. And if anybody is interested in receiving that prayer, um, if I can upload it to my YouTube, I'll share the link. But if I can't, you'll just want to send your email so that, so that I can email it to you. Okay. I would love to share that. It's for the divine union. Guys, I'm also, I have a book that I wrote maybe five years ago or so now. And 
I didn't know it at the time, but the book was about divine union. And me and my friend wrote it together, my sister friend, my soul family. And so we will be, um, we're working on getting it back up on Amazon so that it can be bought like an actual book that you can hold in your hand. But as of now, I do have it available as an ebook. So if that's something that you'll be interested in, I'll have that link in the description box below as well. I recommend anybody that's thinking about union or you know you're a twin flame or whatever that you get the book. And I don't just say that because I wrote it. I feel like spirit just used me as a vessel. So that's just that with that. I love you guys with that. And I'll leave you guys with that. As of now, the book is $7.77. That may change. So if I were you, I would hop on it now. All right, Spirit. So why is the five of spades here in this beautiful reading for us? I just want to thank you, Spirit, so much. We got three cards coming out. Okay. We got the hanged man coming out first. We got the hierophant coming out next. We've got the world card. Oh, my gosh, you guys. D to me... Something is about to happen while someone is asleep, 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 okay? Um, so a part of my prayer, my personal prayer, and remember this is a personal reading for me, but I am going to share for those who might resonate. I specifically ask that my husband slash my partner on this mission, that while he's resting, while he's asleep, that he receive like maybe dreams or visions that give him insight on strategy on who he should choose why um and everything like that as far as who to go into union with and all that and that it be for his highest good for the highest good of all who are connected to him and i know that i'm a part of that as well so anyway for this pisces for the hangman to be coming out i definitely feel like this is going to be a period of rest of being still of being in the bed maybe um it's also pisces energy and he is a pisces moon the hierophant card is about commitment it's also about spiritual messages right and spiritual insight and leadership and i truly feel like he is a spiritual powerhouse just as much as i am so i feel like you know maybe there's going to be some form of enlightenment about commitment here about spiritual work here and then with the world card coming out first of all all of these are major arcana so it's telling me that a major shift <clears throat> that is strategic is about to occur for him and maybe even for other masculines i'm going to look at the bottom of the deck now because i'm being instructed to Woo! the four of wands that's union, cohabitation. This is the 1111 card. Um, it could, you know, indicate marriage or bare minimum, a, a choice to commit, a firm foundation. Now, look, that was another thing that I prayed for in the actual union prayer that if you're interested, I can get that to you. Um, maybe it'll be faster via email until I upload it. But again, the world card is about, to me, that's recognition. That not only is recognition, I feel like I was led to say that's us taking our rightful place within the world, okay? That is karmic completion. I feel like something is about to suddenly shift. I, I could be wrong, and it's going to be in regards to commitment here, union here. Um, Again, you know, like I said to you guys before, I did mention that if it's for his highest good to go to that other woman and to go to the other connection and to immerse himself in that vehicle for his higher learning and stuff then i want that for him as well it yes it will kind of hurt a little bit but at the same time i mean i do love him and the love will not go anywhere <laughs> and i also am reminded that while i was in a union you know he was experiencing and living life the way that he best knew how for himself, but his feelings for me hadn't changed either. So he had to know that I was with another person doing what all what we do when we're with people that we care about and that we choose. And the love that he had for me had to just, you know, 
be what it was so that I could learn whatever lessons that I needed to learn. And I'm not going to say that he just knew that 100%, but somewhere within his spirit, he had to come to grips with it. Difference. So anyways, spirit, why is the two of hearts here for my personal reading as well as for the collective? The three of pentacles is coming out right here right now. So that's about teamwork. That's about cooperation. Let's see what else comes out. I did see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So that definitely makes me think about, um, you know, a happy ending or bliss or something like that. Love, a lot of love. But the card that just came out now is the Six of Cups. So this could be with an ex. I am considered his ex, but the other young lady that he's considering um, going towards and being with is also his ex, most recent. So it's really a possibility that those, the hangs men, the hierophant in the world could very well be in regards to him going to that connection, moving forward with that energy and going towards his ex. Um, the six of cups is also past life lover energy or soulmate energy. So again, the two of cups is soulmate energy as well. So, you know, we'll see. Let's see. Spirit, give us another card to give us more of a definitive answer about who and what this Two of Cups is for. Wow. So the first card that turned over that I saw, so I need to put it like this, because this is literally how my eyes saw it. The Six of Swords, that's a card of moving, transition, okay? So he could very well move. They could be like three hours away from one another. Okay. Three states away. I don't know. But the Six of Swords for me is a spiritual journey as well as real movement and literally a change possibly of residence. It can also be communicating with friends and having friends to help you make a decision or family for that matter. With the Three of Wands, this is this could happen in, in the next three days time as well here. Or three months time I'm seeing. Wow. Okay. Here's a message that I'm receiving. So if he does go to go back with the ex, right, they may be together for like three months and then he might move back home um, with the lessons that he learned over there in that connection. And the three of wands, that'll be like you know, waiting on someone's ships to come in, um, someone being in expectancy for that. So that could be my energy or even his. Um, and then we have the 10 of cups that came out. So it's like after that journey, because that's another thing that the six of swords can deal with after that journey, you know, He's expecting possibly, or I'm, ex well, somebody's expecting a happy ending, you know, to have a happy family, happy family life. So maybe that's what he's expecting to go towards with the other young lady, or, you know, we'll see how that plays out. Like, we'll just have to see what happens, which one is the correct interpretation. That is how many cards? One, two, three, four, five. That's five cards. So for me, that's about conflict still that'll bring about a change possibly. So this could be that other connection or it could be ours. It just depends. All right, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, I have the chariot card. Cancerian energy here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the cups. Aries Leo Sag with the three of wands. Gemini Libra Aquarius with the six of swords. Cap Taurus Virgo with the pinnacles. So this chariot energy is about forward movement and also pro progress and integration, integration. So I do feel like I'm going to read it two ways. If in fact, this is about a sudden change or a turnaround that's, you know, going to be strategic um, for him when he's asleep about our connection, it looks like it could be a sudden change, a sudden turnaround, and then 
there could be us coming into union or a decision for us to come into union, okay? Um, if it's not about he and I, it's going to be in regards to him going ahead and moving forward to be with his ex. And from there, he's still going to experience all of these energies, you know, um, learning and love and, ex you know, knowing what makes him truly happy, all of that. He's going to learn all of those things, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go to the King of Spades here and we're going to wrap up this reading. Thank you for those who have stayed thus far. All right, Spirit, why is the King of Swords and the Emperor energy here for my personal reading as well as for the collective energy? Why is the King of Swords slash Emperor here? What are the energies? What are the details? What is the nitty gritty with this? Help me to understand the cards that come out. The Empress is in reverse and the Five of Cups is in reverse. Hmm. Spirit, please give me some more insight into this story, please. The Knight of Pentacles flew out in reverse, and then the Ace of Pentacles came up sideways. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back up right. So the Five of Cups in reverse, um, that's an energy that makes me feel like where there maybe was regret, remorse, and sorrow, there won't be any more. Where there could have been a lot of heavy drinking or drugging to escape from depression or sadness and despair, that could be ending or shifting. It could have been in regards to an empress energy, Taurus or Libra. The mother of someone's child. So the mother of his child in this case. Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Empress in reverse is an energy who might not be operating. Um, there's insecurity. There's doubt here. Somebody not really standing in all of their power. Lacking of confidence and even um, creative energy that could be blocked. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is could be an energy of literally just stagnation altogether, no forward movement, and also um, an energy of being careless, irresponsible. That's Virgo energy. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles coming out here. I feel like this is the way that this, that my person and of course our masculines could be getting ready to take accountability or responsibility. Because they were in this pity party energy, whatever they did at the time or whatever they didn't do towards the Empress caused the Empress possibly to be insecure, to feel like there was this loss of control. Um, maybe to come out of her power because she felt like the divine masculine didn't care that he was careless, that he wasn't moving. He wasn't making like no moves one way or the other. Well, he's going to come out of that energy with this king of swords energy or with the emperor energy. And he's going to present an offer. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. It looks like there could be an offer to maybe fight for the connection, but let's go ahead and pull out another card. Spirit, let's make this next card or the next cards that come out following the Ace of Pentacles the next things that will be happening. As I say that, the Lover's card falls out. So there will be a choice to unite. That's Gemini energy. What's at the bottom of the deck here? The Page of Swords. So we're back to the Page of Swords energy. So I'm going to stop there. And that's the end of that part of the reading. I'm going to go ahead and get us some affirmations. Spirit, I would like two cards. 
for the Divine Feminine, an affirmation for the Divine Feminine, as well as an affirmation for the Divine Masculine. And we will speak to them on behalf of our partner. All right, you guys, this is so beautiful. I'm seeing Malachite and Andalusite. Andalusite makes me think about Andalasia from that movie. I don't remember which one it was, but I know it was like a fairy tale kind of movie that supposedly turned real. Andalasia. <laughs> Andalusite crystal. Okay, moving on. Spirit, thank you so much for being present in this reading. I appreciate you. First card out will be for who? Spirit, who will this card be for? I heard a girl, first of all, I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing a lot. It's like my people going, they're like, somebody saying a divine masculine, another person, the others is like, okay, it's your reading. You go first. I don't know. Spirit, give me the second affirmation. Just got it. So we'll find out from here. All right, so I'm thinking that this one is for the Divine Masculine, and this is for the Feminine, okay? So here we go. For the Divine Masculine, we have the Cobra Jasper. Cobra Jasper. Here's what it deals with. It says, have you been getting outdoors enough? It is time to reconnect with nature. Get out there and put your hands in the earth garden or walk in, there, in nature. Play with animals and allow the earth beneath your feet and the sun above your head to nurture and realign you. So we're going to say this affirmation on behalf of our masculines, okay? Nature nurtures me. Also, the archangel associated with this card is Archangel Thuriel. It says, nature nurtures me. Animals and other creatures bring me messages that guide me in my life. My connection with Mother Earth provides vital energy. I am focused and grounded oh, that is definitely what they need and it's what we need you know all right for the divine feminine we have watermelon tourmaline here we go are you looking for romance do you need more attention and affection? It is time to nurture yourself and treat yourself the way that you want others to treat you. This is a good time to rev up your self-acceptance and increase your willingness to allow more love in your life. Archangel Camuel is the archangel associated with this card and it says, my heart is open to giving and receiving love. I transform the world around me through focusing my energy and intentions on divine love. Every word I say and every thought I think travel on the frequency of love. That is definitely the end of the reading. I feel like it resonates with a lot of the things that I said, um, both from my personal story, This Rising, as well as the things that came out of the cards. So we thank the Most High for that. Bye, you guys.